welcome back to the garage it's been a week or two since the last video we'll go up and see what's happening here's our steps this, these are the steps to the top of the bluff and it, it turned out a lot nicer than I thought they they even made like the gutter of the or the border of the steps made it look like a tree <laughs> so that could be actually painted brown and look like um, look like trees with stumps but uh, we start out on a, a flat grade here and come up these I was surprised to see what they've done for the finish this hasn't been completed yet but when I came up here I was surprised to see that they actually put a finish pattern finish on the steps I don't want to walk on that I think that's pretty recent but it's like a block pattern that they used so I thought these were going to be more of a temporary stair staircase but looks like something we could keep for a while so I'm happy about that they're still bringing gravel and sand up using the horses I was recently in Manila for a couple nights and uh, the metal light people came out for a visual inspection and uh, they they were met by the architect and they wanted to verify the trenching and the, all the dimensions of the, the foundation so they took they took those settings back with them and they also did a a slump test which I never I, I know they existed but I never seen one done here before so that was that was a good uh, good indication about how good the architect is doing and plus uh, I think Metalite you know they have a vested interest in making this a success as well as the architect so so far they're doing everything by the book so I'm over here at the at the rebar site where we're creating the, the columns and the bases. These are typical columns that we're using. It's 16 mm vertical and uh, the stirrups are 10. And that's, that's everywhere, 16 and 10. And then the base bases are 16. They've got almost half of the of the vertical columns up and footings poured for those. If you remember the garage we we doubled everything in the garage because I wanted it beefy and uh, we did double 16 and 10 I think we used I have to go back and look but I think it was double 16 vertical rebars and we used 12 for the stirrups and the same for the lateral beams but since we're using uh, metal light and poured in place I'm happy with uh, the standard of, of 16 and 10 and I, I had brought up my uh, my two electric concrete vibrators but uh, they said no we got our own they have a nice one <laughs> they've got a, a gas powered one so that was cool and we finally got around to some scheduled maintenance on the excavators I decided uh, rather than counting hours we'll just do a good maintenance every tankful of, of diesel so today we 
tackle the, the red ones finished. And we're working on the, the back head now. Still having problems with this grease gun that I have. It's just a pain in the ass. Uh, the cartridges that that I ordered, I ordered a case of grease, and these cartridges aren't compatible with this type of gun. So I've been having to make a contraption on my 3D printer to manually push the grease out of the tube and in, into the the metal tube of the grease gun, which is a lot of waste. And. Uh, getting real tired of that so I don't know what we're gonna do I think I'm gonna buy a, some bulk grease just in a 10 pound can and just slop it in there by hand all right I think that's all for this episode we'll see you next time